Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking essences. Oh yeah. You know, I realize as much as I love essences and I've done a lot of content on them, I haven't done a video on essences recently. Um, so this feels a little long overdue. And today I just, it's very casual. You know, it's not a top anything or a fave anything. I just want to share with you three essences that I have been using on repeat over the last couple of months. I want to share with you my reviews, uh, what I think that they're good for, um, and why I've really been enjoying them. So if you're so ready to learn about three different essences that I've been using a lot recently, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump in. <music> So first up, let's talk about the Toradin Solid In Ceramide Essence. So why do I love this? Why do I keep using this? Well, it's a ceramide based product. It is really focused on strengthening your moisture barrier, but unlike many, you know, moisture barrier supportive products that feature a lot of ceramides in them. This does not have a really creamy, really rich emollient texture. It actually has more of a plumping but moisturizing gel texture, which has been so lovely in the hot weather. So let's do some ingredient highlights here. There are five different types of ceramides in here, along with cholesterol, and we do have fatty acid content, as well as panthenol. Panthenol is playing a really large role in here, and I love love panthenol because it's so hydrating. It first and foremost is an incredible humectant for the skin, but it also is barrier supportive because it helps to support your skin's lipid layer. Lipids are what make up your skin barrier. That's what helps hug hydration into the skin. And that's what helps build up that defense against outside pollution and irritants and bacteria from entering um, past the moisture barrier into your skin. So panthenol is definitely a goodie to see alongside all of of the holy trinity ingredients, right, with the ceramides, the cholesterol, and fatty acids is definitely a really smart formulation here. And as I mentioned, this is a really hydrating and plumping gel, but it does have a little bit of balancing moisture to it. And I can definitely attribute some of that from the baobab seed oil that you find here in the ingredients list. I love this oil because it is um, definitely, it's moisturizing, but it's not a really heavy, overwhelming type of oil. I found it in a lot of some of my other favorite uh, barrier care products that have a refreshing, hydrating, but balancing feel to them. So this is adding in some of that nice light moisture, but it also has a great fatty acid profile too, which is fantastic for your skin health and for your skin's moisture barrier. And the texture is so good here because it's like a medium weight gel texture. Um, it definitely has that body to it, but it's not like really, really thick. It's not overwhelming. Once you start to spread this onto your skin, it actually bursts into like watery hydration. It feels so good. It feels so refreshing. I mean, like it has been at least a minimum of 90 degrees, like every single day this month. It has been hot. It has been humid. As soon as I step out the door, I am sweating wetting like underneath my clothes. It's just really hot and it can really overwhelm my skin. And so I love these refreshing, really deeply hydrating textures that maintain a light feeling on the skin. And that's exactly what this does. It bursts into hydration, deeply replenishes the skin, but as it's like absorbing and settling into your skin, you will feel that comforting hug of moisture. It's light. It's not greasy. It's not oily, but it's just that little bit of balancing moisture that just, and this has just been serving my skin so well right now. I mean, beyond the hydration and moisture qualities and the lightness that it, you know, brings to my skin, I love the ingredients here. And that's really the heart of this essence and why I've been reaching for it so much is because it's delivering so many of those great barrier supportive ingredients into my routine without the weight, without the creaminess, the oiliness, the heaviness that can sometimes, you know, come along with barrier care products. I really, really want to say like Toradin, I know you're you're not watching, but if you are, <laughs> Please make a serum in this line. The essence, I sometimes sub this in for a serum, but please make a serum in this line because you nailed the ingredients, you nailed the formulation, you're nailing the textures. I would love to see um, what you would do in a serum format. So next, let's talk about the Sioris Light It Up Essener. I think I said that right. <laughs> it's not essence, it's Essener. <laughs> okay. So they wanted to be cute and combine the words toner and essence. Essence, toner, 
Essener. Um, it's cute. It's kind of a mouthful. I don't love it, um, but they're really trying to communicate what this product is all about, which is bringing the toner hydrating benefits as well as the essence like skin health and um, skin improving benefits. Let's do an ingredient deep dive here. 6% of glycerin. So they're really delivering on the hydration claims here. I know it doesn't sound like a ton, but it's actually a really good amount that you can really feel in the texture and the quality of this product. It really does have that deep down replenishing hydration that glycerin brings to the skin. And then we have broccoli extract and balloon flower extract. And these provide a lot of antioxidants in the skin. They're definitely that healthy skin ingredient. Like I was talking about before, they bring um, so many great minerals and vitamins into the skin and really help to support the health of your skin. Antioxidants are pretty much in everything. You don't really need to specifically seek them out in your skincare, but knowing that they're there, it's really helpful because they help to protect your skin from environmental stressors. Um, they help to protect your skin from the sun and from pollution. This summer where I live, we've been getting the Canadian wildfire smoke and it has been rough when the smoke is really heavy on those days and the air quality is so incredibly unhealthy. Um, it affects me in so many ways. Like it is, I get really bad headaches. It affects my eyes so, so much, um, my respiratory system. But I did notice that it was actually really making my skin very um, more prone to sensitivity, a little bit more uh, prone to inflammation. Like my skin just, I could feel that it was like, it was on edge. Like it just wasn't happy. You know what I mean? Antioxidants can help with that. They can kind of help keep your skin in a healthy state and kind of fight off those environmental stressors, the pollution that can really cause inflammation in the skin. Inflammation, literally think about inflammation as damage to your skin. It's not just like pimples. Inflammation can happen from the sun. It can uh, damage your collagen structure. It can lead to fine lines, wrinkles, loss of elasticity. It can lead to hyperpigmentation, like just inflammation, no good. Um, so antioxidants, very good. Um, so we have some of that content here. These are very novel ingredients, right? Broccoli, balloon flour, but they're definitely helping. And then we have ascorbyl glucoside, which is a vitamin C derivative. And that's where the brightening is coming from, uh, is from this derivative. Now, this is not going to oxidize on you. Um, it is stabilized vitamin C. It's not going to be a diva. You don't have to keep it in the refrigerator, but it's still going to bring the brightening. It's going to bring some of those well aging benefits that vitamin C has as well, a little collagen stimulation. And of course, antioxidant protection, which protects us from the inflammation. So while it seems like a really simple formulation here, they've kind of hit all of those key things that you might expect from an essence, but they've also really infused it with a lot of hydration with the glycerin. And that comes through in the texture because this has body to it. It's not just a watery, thin type of toner texture. There's a little bit more body to this. You see a little bit of thickness, but it's still very fluidy. It's still light. It still applies to the skin. Um, it has this really refreshing, deep, watery quality and hydration for the skin. And because there's a good amount of glycerin, you know, glycerin has like that bounce to it, that body, that bounce, that plumpness. And so that's how it feels on the skin. You get that deep hydration and that plump. So good. So, so good. There's no moisture here. There's no emolliency. There's no oil content. It's just pure plumping hydration, which I really, really love. And I like that this feels like it dives in deep. You know, a lot of products will claim, oh, it's a toner. It's an essence. It's all in one. It can do multiple things. And they don't always fully deliver on that in my experience. But this one, I really feel like they have done it. They have done a really good job. I do still like a couple layers of this. But um, all that being said, the hydration levels here are very, very good. And I am very, very picky. Now, I have to say, as far as like the brightening and stuff goes, I find this to be a very subtle type of product and I'm fine with that. Um, you know, I don't expect my essences to really like work so hard for my skin. I really am expecting that from serums. You know what I'm saying? Cause those are much more highly concentrated products, but I like my essence to act like a booster. And this does, I will say, I'm just going to be completely honest. It's a mild booster. If you're looking for extreme brightening, this, even though it's called light it up, uh, light up your face, right? It's, it's subtle. It's mild. Um, it may not be the most brightening product for you, but for me personally, I like things that are a little bit more gentle that have those good antioxidants, anti-inflammation ingredients. I like to get those little, you know, brightening boosters where I can. And I think that this is, this is a product that just is really simple. 
but everything about it is just done with quality. And that's what I really appreciate about this product too. You know, the packaging. Cirrus always delivers on um, very beautiful, minimalistic packaging, but they always do it in style, I feel like. Um, it's not just like plain, you know, white packaging with just whatever font. This is a beautiful glass bottle. It's a 100 milliliter of essence. It looks a lot smaller, I know, but it's a beautiful glass bottle, a gorgeous label. They just, their aesthetics are <laughs> fantastic. I know it's not that important, but it makes me happy to see this. Um, and then what's inside too, the, the texture, the experience, how it feels on my skin from top to bottom. It's just a quality product. It is subtle, it is minimal. I like that though. I like simple, straightforward, but solid products. All right, let's talk about Costarex Advanced Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Why do I love this? This is like an OG K-Beauty favorite of mine. I mean, this is something that I tried many, 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 many years ago. You know, prior to releasing skincare reviews on YouTube, I was using bottles and bottles of this. This has been with me for a really long time. So like, why am I talking about it in this video? Because I feel like I am rediscovering and re-loving this product. So let's do an ingredient highlight here. 96% of snail secretion filtrate. That's pretty much the only ingredient we need to highlight, right? Because it's making up such a big portion of this product. If you've ever wondered like what snail could do for your skin and you're wondering what product you should try, I'd suggest starting with this one. It is popular for a reason and I think that it is one of the best expressions of snail skincare. Um, the benefits I think on this are so, so strong. So snail can do a lot for the skin. The antibacterial properties, so, so helpful. Anti-inflammation, great for well aging, but also great for acne prone skin. Now, snail can also help stimulate some collagen on the skin. Um, studies, it's getting extensively studied and, you know, studies are coming back. It can really help with um, collagen stimulation, really healthy collagen stimulation on the skin. It can also um, serve as a strong antioxidant for the skin. And it also has benefits for photo damaged skin as well. So it's not just for acne prone skin. It's not just for, you know, sensitive skin. It's not just for hydrating the skin. It has well aging benefits too. Like I was mentioning about like Cioris and minimal skincare and like my point of view on like trying to pack in as many benefits into one product instead of spreading it out across a lot of products. This is a prime example of that. I can get so much from this ingredient and from this product that it saves me a lot of stress and it can sometimes save me products. Sometimes I just use this as my serum, you know, because I'm, I know that I'm getting everything I need. I don't necessarily need to add on to that if I don't want to, if I don't have the time, if I don't have the energy, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I really love this product so, 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 so much. The texture. Everything in this this video is all about like what has been working for me in warm weather over the last couple of months, and this is no exception this texture. It is like a pure gel texture that has, um, if you move this between your fingers and pull it apart, you're going to get what I call the mozzarella cheese effect. It's a little stringy. That's a snail, right? But it's not sticky and it's not slimy. There's a slip to it, but it's not slippery, slimy. It actually is really good absorbency and penetration into the skin, which I think is so important for any skincare um, texture. But like, it's just, it's so elegant. It's really plumping. It's really hydrating. And then it just has this like moisturization finish to it. That is really nice. It's a, it's a nice medium gel texture. It's really balancing. I've been using this bottle like for so many months now. I don't, I think it's been three months almost straight. And like I use it almost every single day. I, I sometimes slot in other stuff. I'm testing things out or whatever, but like I've been really consistent with this and I've been so happy. Yes, my skin is hydrated. It feels healthy. It feels balanced. It feels good. But I have to say the acne thing, it really has been helping me with breakouts. Now I'm on tretinoin now. I also use azelaic acid. Um, I feel like where my skin was at eight years ago is very different than where my skin is at now, especially when it comes to acne, but I still do get breakouts because I'm just prone to it. And it, you know, skin, skin is a living thing. It fluctuates. It happens. But this snail, I really feel like has been cutting down on the occurrence of breakouts on my skin. And there have been some times where something gets a little bit inflamed, like, oh, here it comes. It's coming. It's coming. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning with a big pimple on my face. And it's like calm down the next day. Like my skin has just been really clear, 
really healthy. Yes, there's lots of things I use. There's lots of other ingredients that are contributing to that. But once I started adding snail into my routine, I just feel like it kind of gave me that extra boost. Probably the antibacterial benefits have been really beneficial for me. All that hydration, all that wound healing, all that anti-inflammation benefit has been serving my skin so well. So you see why I've fallen back in love with it, why I'm really excited to share about it. I know people talk about it all the time. I know it's overhyped. I think for good reason, though. You know, hype doesn't necessarily equal out to a bad thing. It just means so many people have been, like, have had their lives affected in a positive way by it, right? Um, the hype that it gets, I think, is well-deserved. I can't say that about every hyped-up, super popular product, but this one I can confidently say is worth the hype. So I'm curious if you're using any essences in your routines right now. Give me your mini reviews in the comments below. And I hope you like this more casual um, sharing of my opinion. Um, these are just products I've been using for a while now, and I, I wanted to let you know about them and all my thoughts. Now, if this video helped you out, if you enjoyed it, if you like Korean skincare, if you love essences and toners, if you love gentle skincare, please hit subscribe if you haven't already and come join our community. I would be so honored to have you here. You know, I do release a lot of new content throughout the week. I do long form videos and I do shorts too. So please turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. I hope you are staying cool wherever you are in the world or warm depending on your season. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.